on in this video I will be explaining you how to increase the performance of your Linux system or speed up your Linux system and I will take you through five different steps that you can follow to increase the system, uh, system performance and uh, these are just some simple steps that you can follow and these apply in all Linux system uh, I'm using OpenSUSE but uh, you can if you are using another system like Debian or Ubuntu then you can still follow this tutorial so the first way of increasing the speed of your Linux system is by decreasing the process which automatically start when your system boots up so to turn the unnecessary process off you can use auto start utility and it will show the processes which automatically starts like here these two just starts automatically on the system boots up so you can turn them off and these next time doesn't start automatically uh, but this is not the uh, not the correct way of doing this uh, because all the services doesn't show here which just automatically starts there's lots of lots of more services which doesn't shown here so to see all those services you can use system control utility and if I grab services then it will show all the services in my in my uh, this operating system and you can see uh, see here that the loaded services sorry active services are those services which uh, automatically starts and if you want to close a uh, service you need to first find out the which are the services which actually take lots of your resources like your CPU or maybe memory and you can check them by using top top command they will show you the top processor which are taking m m most of your CPU and here you can see the person CPU used by different processors these are the processes these like simple screen recorder which is actually running right now and this is the percentage CPU used by this process so you can see the those processes which actually take lots of lots of resources and you can just disable them on startup and to disable them you can use system CTL and disable and uh, the process name you can type like a Apache 2 I want to disable but first let's check the status of this this application Apache 2 service and you can check the status by status and you can see here that uh, it is active right now and uh, it just enabled means it just auto start on every boot up so you need to if you it's not required for you to to use this service Apache 2 then you can disable it easily so you can disable it by system control disable Apache 2 so now it just get disabled and it will not automatically start next time on the boot up so this is the first way in which you can just decrease the number of services and increase the performance of your Linux system so the next way of increasing your performance is by decreasing the swap users in your system by your kernel because your kernel actually use lots of swap if uh, your RAM start to fill out and it's since swap is just a hard disk in your computer so it's relatively slower than RAM so the default value you can check out in this file slash proc this and swappiness so in this file you can check out that the default value of swappiness is 60 and if you have a system with a RAM less than 2 GB then it's recommended that you change this value to less than 20 or maybe 10 is a great value so let's change it and I'm op I have opened it in nano editor and I'm changing it to 10 and since it's a prox file system it just 
automatically loaded in your kernel and you don't need to reboot it and you can check the value has changed to 10 and uh, this will make your system really fast uh, because this will decrease the user of swap and you can even check out that how much swap is used here by VM stat utility here swap input and output show actually the uses of swap and since I have a lots of RAM so no swap is being used and if if you have less RAM then there's chances that lots of swap is used in, in your system by your kernel but uh, if you decrease the value to 10 then it's m much more less likely that it will uh, your uh, swap will be used again So the next step to follow is to clean your system and uh, it doesn't generally increase the performance of your system but uh, it will increase the performance of the application that have lots of caches and temporary data with them and even smooth your system a lot. So what we're going to do is we will be using BridgeBit utility and it's a famous tool to clean up your data, temporary da useless data actually and here in BleachBit you can see that there is lots of options to select you can create the APT which which have auto remove or auto clean option and uh, this actually deletes the obsolete packages that are not used packages and libraries that are not used by any of the application or uh, software inside your system and you can clean the history you can go with deep scan and you can clean the different dif temporary files of Firefox or like caches and other things and it's really a good option because it w this will definitely make your Firefox really uh, fast than earlier time and you can even use some other options also you can clean the system uh, temporary data and it start giving me some warnings and you can improve ignore them or just don't select the experimental was things and once you are done with it uh, you can click on the clean button and it start cleaning your system and this thing uh, definitely gonna improve your performance and uh, uh, beside that other thing you can do is you can remove the old kernel in your system and clean the thumbnail caches so that it will make your system really smooth uh, So the next step that you can follow is to disable the desktop effects or graphical effects in your system and it will Im it will just uh, speed up your X server and improve your performance. So to do that you can just uh, go to the settings in your system and in settings you will find desktop behavior and in this desktop behavior you will find desktop effects and here you can find tons of effects uh, which are which may be uh, on your new system and making them a little slow so you can just disable them and it will uh, totally improve your system and if you are using Ubuntu system then inside setting you may find out compass effects section and there you can find this, these same, the same effects there and you can just disable them in the same way just clicking on them and apply the setting and it will just disable that effect so in this way you can just uh, uh, just disable those uh, useless graphical effects So the next step that you can follow is by using a UTGT name that's tuned and tuned is basically for improving the performance and latency throughput of your system but it can even be used for a general performance improvement across your whole system and once you install it you can check out the man page of the tuned and shows dynamic adaptive system tuning demo and uh, First what you need to do is you need to start the demo of the tuned and to do that you just type uh, tuned 
and it will start the daemon and once you start the daemon there is lots of profile in, in pre-installed profile in your in the true tune utility which you can use to improve the performance in different aspects of your system like in network or CPU or any other aspects so first you need to check out what are the profile available and you can just check them by seeing the man page of the tune profile okay so here down below you can find out different profiles available like balance, f uh, power save, throughput performance to improve the throughput and uh, uh, latency performance, network throughput, network latency and lots of more. So once you ha have selected the uh, profile which is sufficient for you, just you can just uh, apply that uh, profile and to do that you just type tuned. ADM and uh, profile and suppose I want to just uh, start the desktop profile for my system you can type to ADM profile and desktop and it will just start my uh, start the tuned utility to work as a uh, work improve the performance for a system that is for general desktop users and you can even try some uh, if you w have a problem with the network or is high load on your network then you can try network latency or network throughput to improve the performance of that part of particular that part of your system and through it, it it, this uh, utility just uh, if you just tap balanced or desktop ma uh, desktop profile then it will just improve the overall performance of your system so you can even try this one to improve performance so that's it for this video thanks for watching